in today's livestock market environment, cattle, of course, are, are very, very pricey, worth a lot of dollars. And that, of course, means that ranchers, cow-calf producers, want to do what they can to protect those livestock against diseases. They will visit with their veterinarian, purchase some vaccine to take home and uh, give to those cattle in order to try to head off the possibility of any debilitating disease that could hit their bottom line. Once you purchase that vaccine and take it home, then it's your responsibility, of course, to maintain the quality of that vaccine so that it does the job for which you've purchased it. And part of that, of course, is storing it correctly. There's a very interesting study done by our friend Dr. Tom Troxell at the University of Arkansas several years ago. He looked at refrigeration units that were used on farms and ranches in their state, about 240 of them, and he compared what the percentage of time that those refrigeration units kept the vaccines at the proper temperature. You'll see on the insert of most vaccines that they need to be between 2 and 7 degrees Celsius. And that calculates to 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature range we want to keep that vaccine. Well, what Dr. Troxell found was that only about one out of four of the refrigeration units that they looked at and studied kept that vaccine in that range 95% of the time. Perhaps even more disturbing was they found 24% or again about one out of four of those units kept the vaccine in the proper temperature less than 5% of the time, hardly ever in the right range. So I suggest that you take a look at what the temperature is in the refrigeration unit that you're storing vaccines at home. Take the time and a little bit of expense and see what the temperature is in the refrigeration unit where you're storing it. I purchased this thermometer for less than $10 at one of our box stores here in Stillwater. And we see that this particular unit is running at about 39 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, right in the middle of that range that we would like. Also, remember that in the dead of winter, if you have your refrigerator out in a barn, an outbuilding that's not protected from the elements, and when that temperature outside gets to be at zero degrees or less, chances are the internal temperature where our vaccine is, is dipping below that critical 35, even below freezing 32 degrees. If you'd like to learn more about storing vaccines and even maintenance of the refrigeration unit that you have on your operation, I really encourage you to go to the SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. Look under show links, and we've got a link there to the Arkansas fact sheet that does a great job of describing how to properly store vaccines and care of refrigeration units on your farm or ranch. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.